This is Scott from Scalpel Sumi Trader, and this is a brief video on the spreadsheet you have access to, uh, whether you're part of subscription or part of my trade room. Um, so <clears throat> there's two sections here, the product zone, the ATR ch sheets where you enter your zones, and your uh, zone charts. So if you're part of my room, you just have access to this year to get any of the zone charts. Uh, if not, you have access to both of these depending on your subscription. So when you when you log in, <clears throat> you should see these um, these different products. There's 17 different futures products here that you can open up the uh, spreadsheet for each one individually. And you can have multiple open at one time, right? So if I open that one up, I can open up another one and Q and so on and so forth. You know, or RTY, it doesn't matter. So <clears throat> we'll go over quickly how to uh, enter in the values here so let's uh, let's just use a quick example from the end of the day so I go over my zone drawing and how to use ATR and so on and so forth I mean everything is in here uh, as far as where you enter and exit uh, price wise if you want exact instructions on the zone drawing you can either learn that in my trade room or my uh, trade course the new SI indicator course 2023 indicator course it goes over everything in detail uh, this is just to get you familiar with the spreadsheet this video <clears throat> so this was a stopper at the end of the day today and um, yes I actually incorporated both these stop runs uh, 817 and another 513 and put these together you can see me here on the sweeps uh, so what you do is you come and find these zones after you draw the zones correctly again I go over that in detail in my course and on my webinars every day live trading webinars <clears throat> so the top of the zone is 449.50. So you come into the spreadsheet, you enter in the top of your zone here, 4449.50. Whoops, sorry, that's for the ATR. We'll get to that in a second. 4449.50 is the top of your zone. Bottom of the zone is 4443. And then we're entering in the uh, current five minute ATR. So I'm using a Thinkorswim uh, five minute, 14 period Wilders. You can set this up on most tra trading software platforms. <clears throat> this is just the default for Thinkorswim. This just helps me gauge the current volatility in the market. And I think a five minute is the best sweet spot. I mean, you could use hourly if you want, but you're gonna have much bigger um, stop loss areas, stuff like that. So I use the ATR. So currently, if I was trading this zone, this is after the close now, but if I was trading this zone, um, you can see here, actually, is that that low already? Yeah. So let's, let's choose when this when this setup actually fired off, just to make it a little more realistic, because that's a real tight, that's a very small ATR. Uh, so this was right around 1247 my time, which was 247 central. So it was right around here, you see that spike here. This was at uh, yeah, 12.45 to 12.50. So ATR right about this time, as you can see on the middle left, 4.76. You enter in 4.76. <clears throat> and this tells you, this will tell you um, your, your entries and exits and so on and so forth. So the other thing you want to do is you want to put your account size in. So if you are trading, say you're trading a $10,000 account, put in your account size. You put in your max, max loss percentage, what I tell traders all the time, the most you, be risk, you should be risking on an individual trade is about 2%. So you put in 2% and you put it in as a decimal and you can see here. <clears throat> so don't put it in as two because that'll be like 20%. Uh, percent. Actually more than that, I'm sorry, 200%. So put it as a decimal. So 0.02% shows me on, for this type of account, I only wanna be risking for each individual trade is 200 bucks. All right, so you can see here, everything will populate for you. <clears throat> so this is based on what I'm risking here. We'll go over this in a second. Change colors here. I'm risking 17 points. I could put on to risk $200, $200 based on the size of the zone and the current ATR. I can put on 2.29 MES, so obviously you can't trade in tenths, so I, I will round up, so that means I could put on three. So that means I'd be risking a little more than $200 on this trade. So there's a couple different things here. Uh, you can put this in the tick size if you want to show you how many ticks, the actual ticks you'd be risking. 
uh, just some options. Uh, some people like it customizable in that way. Um, the other thing too is to say you have a, a target, right? So I use uh, Ludwig levels, right? So say I'm going to put this trade on and I have a target. I, I get out of certain areas, but um, you know, as the market makes money available to me, which I talk about all the time. Um, but if you Say for instance, you wanted to, you were getting short here <clears throat> off this volume event, and say my ultimate target is here at forty-three ninety-three seventy-five, right? So I can put that in there for my target of if I, you know, if I'm going short. So that means on this trade, if I take this trade based on my risk, um, I'm I will get two and a half to one on my money, so two two point five uh, R, right? So you know you don't have to use this, especially if you're getting out of certain places. But it just helps you, you know, to judge, hey, is this trade worth putting on um, versus my risk that I'm taking, right? So this is showing you the amount of points you're risking on the trade, so 17 points. So you know you have to decide as a trader. Hey, based on this setup, and I go over all this in my, you know, on my trading course mm -hmm. and in my trade room, on you know, taking these trades and de determining what you know what you're willing to risk. But if you put this on, um, you know, you know you have to risk 17 points. So th this is all based on my ATR um, standards, right? So when I get into trades, I for I I demand that the, I the market moves an AT, moves an ATR out of this zone for me to enter the trade. Um, and then I risk above an ATR above that that zone. So this is how I trade it, and that's what it, that is built into that spreadsheet, right? So I know from where I would get in to where I would get out, that's 17 points, 17 and a half points, right? So again, you have to judge, you know, based on your levels or where you think um, you're going to be getting out of some of these uh, contracts, whether that's worth the trade or not. <clears throat> so again, taking taking into consideration uh, the zone price. ATR at the time, right? So this was a six-point zone. The ATR was 4.76. Um, <clears throat> so some other things on here. So this shows me where I'm going to be entering, right? So if I'm going to go long, I would be entering at 44.55. If I'm going short, 44.37.50. So these other prices are, so say if I do go long, 44.55. My stop's at 44.37.50. So it tells you exactly where to put your trade in, if you know, based on the ATR rules that I use, uh, if you're going to take this trade. The validation price is 54.25. What does that mean? Again, this is just a brief overview. This is all in my course. I keep saying it, but I just want to reiterate, right? So um, this isn't a, a instruction type video. It's just to show you how to use a spreadsheet. But for me to determine what this setup is, this is how I determine it after watching about a million of these things. If the market's able to get an ATR above here, I can I will determine that as a bullish setup. If it's able to get an ATR below here, I, I determine it as a bearish setup, right? So that price for me to, to, to distinguish is 54 quarters. So I don't know what, for me, I don't know what I want to do with this zone, long or short, till it can get the ATR above. So if this were to get to the validation point price, 54 quarter. I know this is a bullish setup and then I trade it accordingly. I can either get in aggressively, meaning right when it touches the entry price that was at 55, or I can wait for the ATR retest failure uh, and get in there. And that, that retest is an, another part of the spreadsheet that we'll go over here shortly that it's actually a trade back to the zone. Um, it's just a, it's a custom or a, a specialty type of trade. It's more of a scalp trade. Right now we're talking about position tradings. So once again, <clears throat> my entry price is 44.55. If I get in, I stop out of uh, 37.50. To validate that as a bullish setup, I need to see 
Uh, and then, you know, I, I wait for official retest of the zone to, to quantify it. So for, for certain um, entries, so my conservative entry is I wait for the retest of the zone. So I need to see 4450, which is just in front of the zone. It's actually 10% of an ATR in front of the zone. So if that does that, 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 then that is an official bullish setup. And for my ATR uh, retest, confirm out of there, that's those are the price that I need to see to take that trade, right? So I need to see um, the validation price away, and I need to see the retest price, and then I would get in at the, at the entry price. Um, so if I'm sitting here waiting for a long, <clears throat> and the market gets down to 38 quarter say i'm just sitting here waiting 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 and um, say it hasn't gotten up there yet and then it moves below and it touches 38.25 well my long my long for the way i trade again this is all how i trade my long setup is disqualified because it, it invalidated by getting the atr below there and then a short setup potentially is in play um, what i don't do is if this gets an atr above here and then it does that, and it gets an ATR below, which is that price, I don't take either trade because if it gets an ATR above, then my short is disqualified. And if it gets ATR below, my long is disqualified. So in that case, I don't take any of the trades. But again, if you're sitting here and you're, you got a long, you're waiting for a long setup and the market does that, touches 38 quarter, no longs are in play anymore. I still could potentially take a short as long as it didn't hit the short invalidation price, right? So this is what all these prices are. <clears throat> Looks like a lot of numbers when you first look at this thing, but as you understand it, it's, it's very simple and straightforward. So we've gone over all this. This is just the opposite. You know, I get in at 40, if I'm going to short at 37.50, I need to see 38 quarter to make that an official uh, bearish setup. And then if it retests, I need to see the retest price of 44.250, which would be right in front of that zone. And then as it moves back out, I could take the short. This is the conservative entry. Again, the aggressive entry is just the minute it breaks an ATR out of there, I'm, I'm getting in. Uh, and then if it gets above the zone, I'm sitting there stuck in a short and it does one of these and it touches 54 quarter, my short's off the table. Again, I go over all these, all this stuff in my trade room. This is just to show you how to use this spreadsheet. <clears throat> um, and then this trade, the reversion trade, there will be a new course on this um, in the next day or two. Uh, this is just a brief overview of it. And then once again, I go over this in my trade room every day. But this is just, we are playing for the move back to the zone with this trade. So these markets have a ridiculous tendency of coming back to these areas, right? So this was a perfect example of this ATR trade working, the one ATR, right? And there's different sweet spots for different markets. I go over that and I'll go over that in the ATR course. You know, some days equities, you know, ones work great, the twos work great. You very seldom see the three ATR before a new event fires off. Uh, so the sweet spot for equities, I'll just give you that information here, is ones and twos, right? So that means whatever one you're going to take here, you just you want to be consistent. So if you're looking for the long here, uh, so say the market, we get the volume event, this, is, this would be the long ATR. We get the volume event, the market moves below here. I would just put in my orders automatically. This is this is a, a scalp trade, and this is very. Um, there's no subjectiveness. You put your order in at the entry. You put your stop in where you stop out, and you're out when it gets back to the zone, right? So, um, <clears throat> I'm sitting here waiting. So that price to go long would be 38.75. The stop is at 33, right? So the spark it starts moving down away. I already know what my entry point point's going to be, and this literally looks like it hit it to the exact tick. That's no surprise because it happens nonstop. I just I put a limit order in at 38.75, whatever I'm trading, you know, I'm trading a 10 line or whatever. And then I just, before I even get filled, I put my stop down at 30, 33, 33, right? And so that's where I know I'm stopping out of this trade. And we're playing for a reversion back to the zone. And then I am out as soon as it gets back to that zone. I don't play games. I don't say, well, maybe it could go further. I get out. That's the trade. You can do whatever you want. This is how I trade it. This is what this first sheet is built for. 42.50. So this particular trade, I'm in at 38.75. I'm out at 42.50. It's right in front of that zone. I'm out. That's the trade. The two ATR, you do the same exact thing. You're just getting at a, at a different price. The risk reward's better, but you're not always. You, you might not get to the two ATR. That's the issue, right? So, the, these markets do return to the, the volume events with ridiculous regularity. We just don't know. You don't know. Is it going to be the one before it comes back? Is it going to be the two before it comes back? Is it going to be three, like we talked about? So, some people take the ones only. 
in my trade room. Some people take the ones and the twos. There's a way you can get the one on and the two on and not get stopped out, right? So that's in here as well. <clears throat> so you would get a long 38, I'm sorry, the one ATR long 38.75, you stop out of 33. You would get into the two, and then you step up to the 33. So you see, you, you, you could be getting in the two as well and not be stopped out of the 33 and have both trades on, right? So you can be on the one and say that it does that, and you can get in the two and still be in the one and the two and then get out of the zone. That there, there's, you know, there's different variations of how this can go back to the zone. The point is the spreadsheet is built to take advantage of that occurrence, which happens ridiculously often. So in here you got to re put in you know you may have a different account for reversion trades right so say it's a five thousand dollar account right same thing I only want to risk two percent on that 0 0.02 means I'm risking a hundred bucks this tells you exactly how many you can put on 3.48 I'd round up to four based on your risk and where you're stopping out you're only risking about five and three quarter points here so you could put on a little more right uh, and this just shows you the one the two and the three and then the short is the same going the other way so if this market would have moved up higher <clears throat> I can find the chart so if this market moves up above here then I would take reversion trades the one the two potentially the three back to the zone that way and those prices are all in there so for the one 53.75 I stop out at 59.50 and you're out at 50 if, so this is the other thing I do too. So if I'm waiting for that one ATR, right? So I'm sitting here and see the validation price both ways here. I didn't cover it on the short on the, the long one, but it's the same thing here. So so if I'm looking to short, right? I'm sitting here waiting for the one ATR. I get my orders in exactly for 53.75. I put my stop in right away and I just wait, right? So my order's sitting there. 53.75. I got my order sitting there. And I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. It doesn't get there and it comes like this and touches 38.75. Well, for me, once again, if the market's able to get the ATR below the zone, I don't want to take that reversion back because it's already shown its hand and it's below there. And I know we're taking trades back to the zone, but that disqualifies it for me. The other disqualifier is if you get if I get an opposing value event. Again, I'm not going to get into that in this video. Uh, that'll be in the course, but those are my disqualifiers for that. There's other disqualifiers as well. Uh, but this is just telling you the invalidation price, kind of just like we saw in the position trading. Um, <clears throat> and that's pretty. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's it's very straightforward. When you first look at this, it looks like uh, you know a lot of information. It's just this is one trade based on my trading strategies, position trading. I have a course on this too this week, hopefully. And then this is the reversion strategy. That's what the spreadsheet is. That's what you guys have access to. You just plug in your ATR, you plug in your zones, and you're good to go. Uh, this is just showing you your, your tick your tick value as well um, and that is it for the ATR or the spreadsheet video any questions you can always email me but again pretty straightforward <clears throat>